Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. Uh, in the last episode, we finally uh, finished up the Mothership Zeta DLC. Well, we actually did that two episodes ago, but we left the ship in the last episode, and then we have ventured across the wasteland on our way to find this place, which is a uh, Little Lamplight, though we're not actually in Little Lamplight proper just yet. We're on... We're actually outside of it, but uh, we will be making our way inside soon enough. Seeing what's in this place first, though. God damn, you don't know how happy it makes me right now to be searching through abandoned ruins of destroyed crap, scrounging around for <laughs> old bits of processed food that was held that was held in uh, <laughs> you know old boxes and crap instead of being on that stupid alien spaceship and having to stare at like the white walls and blue lights everywhere constantly like how weird is it that this destroyed atomic wasteland has more color and more life to it than that spaceship did, and is an overall far more interesting environment. Maybe not for everybody, but to me personally, it's just so much better. And uh, let's kill this bloatfly over here real quick, just because I don't want to have to deal with it when I'm escorting Mr. Uh, Poopy Pants over to Little Big Town or whatever. So, yeah, I don't think there's any more enemies. Can we actually get up into that watchtower? I wonder. Um, I highly doubt it. You can't climb up ladders and fall out. The only time you can is when the ladder is considered a door. And, uh, this doesn't even have a ladder. Okay, so how does... <laughs> how do the NPCs get up there at all? Whatever. Okay. Anyway, enough. Uh, enough wasting time. Let's get in there and go. Oh, what the heck? Where is everybody? There's supposed to be people out here. This is a little lamplight. We're going the right way. There's supposed to be people out here saying goodbye to some dude. Door to lamplight caverns. Are they inside the door? Maybe. Uh-oh. I don't know. Alright, well, let's just go see then. Hey! Hold it right there, mister! Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. Ah, whoa, hold on there, my friend. You're kidding me, right? I ain't kidding. You're not supposed to be here, so you better leave. I really need to get to Vault 87. You know the way? Can I come in? What is this place? Who are you? Sorry, we're going to... I really need to get to Vault 87. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. No, almost definitely not. Monsters want monsters. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hmm, hmm. Can I come in? What is this place? Who are you? See you around. McCready, what? We shouldn't know his name yet. He hasn't told us. Whatever. Uh, who are you? I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or mungos. Mm-hmm. Sorry, messing with my mouse for a second here. Stupid thing is getting... Cord's getting caught up again. Can I come in? What is this place? Uh, yeah, what is this place? This is Little Lamplight. We live here and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. Okay, tell me more. Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. Mm-hmm, okay, can I come in? Hell no! No mungos allowed! Child at heart, you know what? Your face looks like my butt. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm a really nice guy. May, be, may I please come in? How can I get you to trust me? Yep, so we're gonna use the child at heart perk, of course. You know what? Your face looks like my butt. Oh, yeah? You must like having such a good-looking butt. Yeah, your mom sure likes it. I bet you like to look at butts, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you all right,
I'm from Mungo. You know that? Why don't you come in? I think we can trust you. Yeah, because I insulted you and said your face looks like my ass. That means you can super trust me. Okay, there it is. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know the rules. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah, bye, Sticky. Don't just stand there. Get out of here already. Wow, what luck! I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the mungos, I mean, where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Okay, where the grown-ups live? Big Town. You've never heard of it? It's where all the grown-ups go. Well, at least when they grow up and out of Little Lamplight. I can show you the way. There's no reason to waste your time with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Let's go now. Fine, I'll take you to Big Town. First, I need to visit Little Lamplight. Got any caps? I'll escort you to Big Town, but it'll cost you. You're on your own. I'm not interested in babysitting duty. You got any caps? Um, yeah. I got lots of caps. But they, um... They're at Big Town, so I can give them to you when we get there. Yeah! Take me to Big Town, and you'll get your reward. My girlfriend, Red, has lots of caps. I'll wait for you outside, unless you want to go now. What's the party hat, Big Town? I've been there before. You have? I mean, of course you have! It's an awesome place! Well, enough talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? Uh, alright. Let's go to Big Town. Alright! Yeah! Big Town, here we come! Alright. You just gonna follow me? Good. Okay. I couldn't remember uh, if he follows you or if he runs Why ahead without you. So long? And it's your job to, like, keep up with him. Thank God it's the former, because if it was the other way around, that would be awful. Why so, is this taking so long? Shut up. Yeah, that's this is basically the, the number one reason why everybody like hates this quest, is because he doesn't stop talking. And he keeps saying, like, oh, why is this taking so long? Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, no, can't fast travel. How do I... I can't even remember how to set a thing. Set your marker, yes. Okay, so to make sure we're keeping in the right direction. Actually, let's set it over here. Move it right there. To That way, just so I don't have to like keep looking at these and reading the thing to make sure that we're going in the right direction. And I think we want to go a little bit more to the left. Alright. So yes, this is the sticky episode. You all knew it was coming, didn't you? Are you lost? No, I'm not. Actually, I have a map with 100% accuracy on it. Yep, so <laughs> we now get to escort this little... I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this man. His name was Joking Joe. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard at all his funny jokes. We'll get him! Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Oh, god. Sticky, stay out of the way. I swear to God. Seriously, stay back, dude. Don't get killed. I'm pretty sure he can get killed, too, which is awful. I mean, obviously, that's uh, realistic and completely fair for him to be able to get killed, but it doesn't make the quest any easier. Sticky, where the hell are you going? Oh my god, is he trying to fight them? Willingly? You guys are assholes, you know that? You guys are huge dicks. Alright. Let's start that over. And let's avoid the super mutants this time. And I need to set my thing up again. Great. Marker. Set the marker. What do you do? Let's uh, stick a little bit more to the right this time. So we can avoid those super mutants. And let's also make sure to crouch and sneak uh, while we're on our way. Um, can we actually go around these rocks? I think we can, but it'd take quite a while. Uh, oh well, it's worth it. It's worth it, especially if he's gonna... 
I can't believe he actually went up and tried to fight them. That was stupid. You're a stupid man, Sticky. Where is he? Where the hell did he go? What the hell? Sticky, what are you doing? You stupid piece of garbage. I can't wait to get to Big Town. Yeah, shut up. You're starting to get on my nerves. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just really excited. I'll, uh, I'll shut up now. Oh, okay. Huh, cool. We can actually get him to stop talking. You can't take your babbling on your own. Good luck. Wait here. Go and need a weapon if you want to live. See, big. No, no, we're not, not giving him anything. Enough chit chat. Let's Come on. go. Don't go in that direction, you idiot. Follow me. What? Well, I like, really? Where did he even go? Did he see something shiny? Good God. All right, whatever. Let's go up here. I think there's a little path right there that we can probably take to get up on top of the rocks. Maybe it'll require some jumping. Yep, and he can't jump. Never mind. Sticky, where are you going? I'm over here. You're supposed to be following me. Oh, super mutants. Okay. Great, so they're just all over the place then. Alright. Take that. There you go. Okay, at least there was only one. And it was a regular super mutant. It didn't have any armor or anything. Like the one before had. Oh god, am I gonna have to... There's another one! What the hell? Guys, come on! This isn't... This isn't fun. This is bad. This is like straight up bad. Let's repair our weapon real quick. Because I think we're going to be getting a lot of use out of this. Oh, the game froze. Great. Just amazing. Could you try to work, please? What the heck? Oh, no, the game didn't freeze. The console went on. How? I didn't press the, the tilde key. Whatever. Okay, repair that. That's stupid as hell. All I did was use the scroll wheel. Wait a minute, does pressing in the scroll wheel... Pressing in the scroll wheel is the same as the tilde key? Are you kidding me? That is the stupidest thing in the world. I think the exact same thing happened to me when I was playing Fallout 4, actually. Whoever thought that was a good idea? Pressing in the scroll key... To make it bring up the console. That's awful. Especially when you have to use the, the scroll key to... Or the scroll button. It's not a key. What am I saying? You have to use the, the scroll wheel to uh, go through your inventory and crap. Who thought that was a good idea? Maybe they... Oh well. Okay. We made it past the super mutant incursion. And, uh, some ruins over there tempting me to go and explore them and see what they have to offer, but I must resist the urge. Thank God, I thought I lost him again. Must resist the urge because the more out of the way that I go with him following me, the higher chance I have of him dying stupidly. So, I'll just go this way, straight towards my objective, straight towards a little lamplight. Or, er, not a little lamplight, Big Town, whatever it is. Kind of happy, though, that I uh, already ended up accidentally stumbling upon Big Town and doing the quest for it to uh, protect it. So that's, that's nice, I guess. Means I don't have to do that right after bringing him there. Because with my luck, he'd probably die with the super mutants attacking Little Lamplight. And I'd have to start it all over. Alright, let's go over here. I don't know what... Okay, it's a robot. Yeah, I don't want to fight a robot. Especially not with him following me. Dude, come on. Please. Please follow me. Thank you. Just right down here. And, uh... Let's see... Okay, we can kind of just follow this road here. That should take us... Oh, no, hey, rope, too late. 
There you go, robot. It's kind of freaking out and not actually doing anything. Not the most effective of robots, but I'm not going to complain about that. Sticky, where are you? Sticky, goddammit. it. Sticky, get over here now. I can't wait to get the big town. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait here. Oh, okay. But please don't leave me here by myself. Come back for me soon, okay? Yeah, sure. You okay, now follow town? me. All right, let's go to big All town. Right. Okay, good. Yeah, I figured if I told him to wait and then follow me, that'd get him to stop running in random directions, at least for the time being. He probably got scared off by the robot, I guess. Uh, and this place, if I'm not mistaken, we might have already uh, scavenged this little shack here. Oh god, albino rad scorpion. Let's avoid the hell that out of that. Yeah, I might have already scavenged this little spot. Oh! Oh, he almost set that off. Let's pick those up, actually. I can use them. But, okay, so no, I did not. I did not already scavenge out this little shack. Whoops. Oh, crap. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and... Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I thought I'd been over in this general area before. I guess not. Okay. Alright, let's just... Seriously, dude, keep up. I swear to God. Where is he going? Oh my God! How did it see me? Oh, it saw him, didn't it? God fucking damn it. Sticky, do you ever just... God damn it. Are you kidding me? This is stupid as hell. How far back was my quick save? I think it was right after I killed those super mutants. Alright. In that case, um... I'm gonna have to deal with the robot again. Oh, crap, I can't fall down here. He can't fall. I have to go this way. Right past the stupid robot. Which means I'm gonna have to kill it with this again. And there's another super mutant. Yay! Ooh, let's get the good oh, super mutant and just kill him. And there you go. Jeez. Gone. All right, we're still hidden. There's nothing around just yet. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! There's the robot. If I can sneak up on it, hopefully. Oh, that's not the robot. That's a rat scorpion. I've got one. Look out! This is the one that isn't even all that big. Takes care of that. Shut up, please. Did I? Uh... No, yeah, I already told him to do the shut up. That was before the uh, the quick save. Alright, let's do another quick save right here since we just killed that one. And now, um, as we get close to here, I don't want him tipping off the albino rat scorpion again. Are you sure you know where you're going? Shut, shut up, seriously. Wait here. I want to go scavenge out all of this. And you need to uh, not, <laughs> not completely ruin it for me. Alright. Picking this again. Nope. Oh, we can. Hmm. 84% force the lock? Huh, cool. I've never seen a force attempt that was so. Uh, had such a high chance of success. That's cool. That can't be based off of the. Uh, the lockpick skill, because that's, uh, 
I mean, we've we because we've had a uh, 100% lock pick for a long time now, and that's the first time I've ever seen one that big. All right, let's quick save again just in case. Make our way over here. Make sure to crouch down nice and low. We're having to go around so much shit to avoid enemies and stuff that it's taking exponentially longer than it otherwise would. Like, if we could just walk straight towards Big Town in just a, like a beeline right for it, this would not be taking nearly as long. But nope, we got him following us, so we gotta be very, very careful. The dog isn't going to attack him, is it? Since I've got the animal friend perk. It should, uh... Yeah, it should be friendly. Because it, it, it just tags them as friendly in general. It doesn't actually specify it against just me. And oh, great, a Deathclaw. Fantastic. Let's quick save again. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We going the right way still, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. World map, uh, we can go up a little bit more. Right past the Death Claw. Wonderful. Fantastic. Oh my god. Something cool looking over there. Wish I could go check it out. Can't though. We might, that might actually be a. Nope. Jalbert Brothers Waste Disposal. Nope, we've not been there yet. Ugh. You know, it's ironic. I, I'm not hating this for the same reasons as other people, but I'm hating it just as much. Okay. Did that even do anything? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Should be able to finish him off with the bats first. Is he seriously about to go up and try and punch the Deathclaw? Oh my god, I think he was. When the camera and Vats uh, showed behind me briefly, I saw him raising his fists and running towards it. If I'm not mistaken. And let's uh, quick save just in case another one pops up or anything. Nope. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Things are uh, <laughs> slowly getting better. Though now there's another albino rad scorpion up there. So that's great. Two of them! Unless that one's dead. Doesn't seem to be moving. Nope, it's moving. It's definitely moving. Okay, where's, uh... Okay. We can go down this way and not, uh... It won't be too far out of the way if we do. Oh, boy. Please don't see him. Oh, God, it's kind of close. Though I did see a Yaogwai over there, right there. So if it does start swinging for us, maybe I can drag it over towards the Yaogwai and get it to uh, fight it off for us. Pretty sure it'll lose. Pretty sure the Albino and Rat Scorpion is way stronger than a Yaogwai, but it's worth a shot. Worth a shot indeed. Okay. Um, it's far enough away that it's enemy tick marker isn't showing up, so I think it's good. Thank God. Okay. Let's keep going. Is this a place we've already been? Is this even a marked place? It's a marked place, but it's not when we've already been. And it did not... I suppose that's kind of lucky. It probably should have, uh... Ooh, what's going on over there? Oh, a robot fighting some raiders. Okay. Let's avoid that as well. Just avoid everything. Avoid the entire wasteland. Learn to fly. Um, yeah, I got, got lucky there, though, that it didn't uh, discover that location, because uh, I got pretty... I, I got, like, right up against the gate. And uh, if it had discovered the location, then that means it would have been hard to remember to come back and explore it again later on, after we deliver Sticky to his location. Oh, God. Alright. Quick save. We're not going to be able to get out of this. Whoops, I put away my weapon. Of course I would do that. 
All right. 42%, not that great. 40, 54. 63, good enough. Please hit. And I didn't get the sneak because the first one missed, which alerted it to our presence. Fantastic. Don't kill him, don't kill him. It killed him. Fantastic. Alright, let's load that up again. Alright, this time, let's, uh, how about sniper rifle? Yeah, 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 sniper rifle. Uh, this is one, and then hit him right there. Dead center. Barely did anything. Okay. It's gonna hit him again, and yep, he's gonna die. Okay. Go around it then. Where's, uh. If we go around to the left, that's gonna be way too far out of the way. So let's go to the right. You're still following me, right? What are you looking at? Okay, good. Let's just avoid it then. We, we can't kill it fast enough before it kills him. Alright. No, where are you going? Dude? Get over here. Oh my god. No. Fucking hell. Alright. In that case, uh... I think the robot alerted him first, perhaps? And then, like, maybe the scorpion saw the robot? So let's go kill the robot! So that we can do this and not have him get killed by anything. Please. Oh! Oh no, not them! the regulators. What was that thing? I don't know. Something just blew up in my face. I didn't even see it. Oh god, and there's more robots. Though I think those are with either Enclave or Brotherhood of Steel Outcasts. If they're outcasts, then that's okay, because they are not hostile towards me. Let's quick save again. Just in case. Oh my god, I'm so glad those uh, regulators didn't come over here and pick a fight with me, though. That would have been awful. That would have been literally the worst thing ever. I haven't accidentally killed any outcasts, have I? Because I think if you accidentally kill even one of them, or intentionally kill even one of them, then they, uh, they turn hostile on you. Like all of them, in general. Okay, good. We can just keep going down this road, and I think we're out of range of any enemies, so we can pick up the pace a little bit. Hey, guys. You'll kill anything that tries to attack us, right? Yeah, I probably should, but, uh... Oh, crap. Are you kidding me? I've got one. Ah. Ah. Oh. What the hell? How'd I miss that? Wait, who, sh who else is shooting at me? There's more raiders up there? Oh my god. This is awful. Sticky, just come with me. Avoid the fight, Sticky. Avoid it. Oh god, the bridge is out. Oh god, Enclave. Oh my god, Talon Company. What the hell is going on? Is everything just trying its hardest to ruin my attempts at doing this one simple quest? Um... Okay, okay, actually, oh god. Sneak, sneak, sticky. Let them be. This is not our fight to join. This is ours to flee from. Okay, into caution, good. Oh my god, I thought it was like a couple of raiders. And then it turns out there's even more raiders up in the building, and they're all sniping at people. And then there's a bunch of Enclave and Talon Company fighting for no reason. Where'd Sticky go? Get 
the hell over here, man. Sticky, no. Sticky, no. Sticky, don't you dare. Are we there yet? Wait here. You want to go to Big Town? Oh. Let's Are go. You? Follow me. Come out, come out wherever you No. Are. Stop going that way. Sticky. Sticky, listen to me. Get over here. Oh my god, this guy is going to get killed because he's such an idiot. Sticky's fleeing. Oh, he's fleeing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were fleeing. Follow me, you bastard. God, this is going to be like one of my longest videos ever. Because I can't get this guy to cooperate. Alright. Fine. Reload this to before we get into the stupid fight. And let's just keep sneaking right from the beginning. Not attack the raider. Not run right into the enclave or the town company if we're lucky. Let's just go. And hopefully he will be smart enough to uh, to just follow us. There's Arafu. We've been by Arafu. Arafu's a safe place. It's cool. Nobody tries to kill Sticky there. Maybe you want to live in Arafu, huh, Sticky? You want to live in Arafu? Would that work good for you? You want to live there? It's uh, probably kind of safe. Move yeah, along. we're only detected by the outcasts. That's fine. I don't mind them detecting us. Uh... There's... Okay. Yeah, there's that raider up on the bridge. And... There'll be more in the house. The outcasts will fight them. That's fine. I saw the enclave... Oh, god, there's a bunch more raiders under the bridge, too. Stick, Sticky. Please. Sticky. What are you doing? Sticky's fleeing again. Why, Sticky? Why are you fleeing? Are we there yet? Wait here. You want to go to Big Town? Let's go. Come on, follow me. Thank you. No, don't flee. Stop fleeing. Oh my god. Where? Oh. We're outnumbered! Oh my god. I'm glad that's over. Critical strike on the raider. That's good. Can I kill him, please? There you go. Okay, we're hidden now again. Sticky, you coming? Are you there yet? Yep. Let's let's go. Enough chit chat. Oh my god. Stop alerting enemies to your presence. Stop fleeing for no reason. I've got your back. There you go. That takes care of that. I can't wait to get the big time. Yep, keep following me. Come on. I think if I just keep talking to him enough times, maybe that will get him to keep following me and not run off, not flee from things pointlessly. Maybe that's the trick. This is another area we've already been. This was the baseball diamond place that had a bunch of raiders around it. Like, way back at the beginning of the game. And there's another raider! Yay! Oh boy. At least we uh, avoided the big fight. Let's quick save. Let's quick save real quick. We need to go a bit more to the right here. He's still following us. Good. He hasn't alerted that raider. The raider hasn't alerted him to start fleeing. Or running up and trying to fight it for no reason. I think we're actually going to do it. I think we're going to finally reached the big town of big town oh thank god and it only took like 35 minutes fantastic best episode ever by far bar none okay good nothing else i, I Oh my god, I don't want to test my luck. I want to, like, stand up and run to Big Town. But I know if I do that with my luck, with neither of us sneaking, 
suddenly a bunch of people are gonna see us. Don't get caught in the tree, please. There it is! We're almost there! Come on! Yippee! Yeah, so get over here, dude. Oh, well, he stopped sneaking already. So I guess he leaves us no choice. Where's the entrance? Where's the goddamn entrance? It's on the other side. Whoops. How? What? Where, what did... I came from over there somehow. I guess. I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay, whatever. The problem will be rectified in just a moment. What side is the entrance on? It's on this side. I thought... Oh, it's at the north. The entrance is at the north of town. I thought the entrance was at the uh, the west of town right here. I was super confused. Okay, come on, Sticky. Don't get caught in the environment, please. Don't do that to me. Who you gotta talk to, Red? Huh? Yeah! I made it to Big Town. Big Town! Hooray! Now I just need to find Red. Yep, okay. I hate it. Red's back here. Over in her house. With the nurse place. Big Town. Red's clinic. There you go. That's what I meant to say, clinic, not nurse place. We did it! You did it! You helped us defeat the... Yeah, you're welcome. Heal me up, Red. Can you heal my Yeah, new spot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He, uh... Is he gonna find her? Is she gonna go outside and find him? She's gonna stay right here. Where'd he go? Oh, my God, Sticky. Hurry up. Please find her. I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live. But now I think we can do it. Thanks to you. Thanks. What the... the uh... Uh, Remember. I don't know if he's going to talk to her, but I'm, like, there way out of time, so... He's just going to walk into there and do whatever. Okay, we'll see about that next time, because I'm out of time for this episode. So if y'all made it to the end of this, then thank you and congratulations. Please consider leaving a comment. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next it's episode, the of Big where we'll probably actually go through Lamplight Caverns and do some stuff. Bye-bye.